So this is the most beautiful, charming alpine type town we've seen in a long time. So unique and so different. Um, I think Julie used the word what with it? Scrimes uh, with kitten? Smitten. She's smitten. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally smitten, but this is me. I'm, I'm a mountains girl, so I mean, I'm in love. Yeah, she's a mountain girl from Louisiana. <laughs> If you're new to our channel, Julie and I, we retired early to travel the world with our two dogs. We're trying to see what it's like to live in different countries, different cities, places, and we're trying to share our experiences and expenses with you, and we do the tourist things as well. But we hope that you're going to subscribe and give this video a like and that this won't be the only video that you watch with us and that you'll join our journey. You can also find us on Facebook. Look for our group, Warren Julie Travel as well as on Instagram. So this is the goat cheese that they do here. You got 10, 12, 6, 20, 50. So if you're coming to Zakopone, this is what they're, they're known for. And these are the prices. But yeah, good stuff, all homemade. Oh man, the vibe on the street is so cool. I'm so excited to be here. This is the I don't know. I'm, I'm totally enamored and enthralled with what we're seeing here in Zaka Pony. Um, we went to a Serbian city called Zlatibor. Uh, this is, this is, really feels like it's got that charm. So Zaka Pony's in the southern part of Poland at the base of the Tatra Mountains. It's known as Poland's winter capital. It's got a lot to do here, but it's also pretty dang popular in the summer for hiking and biking and just coming in and enjoying these shops and restaurants. There's a lot of souvenirs and different types of sheep products here as well. The sheep cheese is renowned and actually pretty famous. As I mentioned, this town is in the base of the Tatras Mountains. The lowest elevation here is 2,460 feet, but it goes up to 7,549 feet here in the Zakopone town area. The Tatras Mountains around here go even higher. As we explore Zakopone, it's always in the back of our minds, would we want to live here? Is this a place we would buy a home? Is it a good place to invest? Well, with the popularity here, I think the investing part goes without saying that owning a home here, you'd probably be able to rent this out year round at different times, whether it's in the winter or the summer. This is a pretty big tourist magnet area. But as far as would I want to live here? I don't know, it might be a little hectic with all the tourists downtown, but I do kind of thrive on being around a lot of people. For Julie, this might be just a little bit too much chaos for her on a day in, day out basis. However, you don't have to go too far outside of the old town here to get a little bit of tranquility. So this could be a happy medium because Julie thinks she's a mountain girl and thinks she wants to be in the mountains. So, Zakopone, it may be possible. Now, Zakopone is only about a two-hour drive from Krakow, and it may be getting shorter. They're building this new highway system that comes really closer, so you might be able to cut that down to an hour and a half or less in the not-too-distant future. The city of Zakopone has 27,000 people that call this area home year-round, and there's some other little towns in the vicinity. So it may be big enough for me to be able to build that friendship circle if this is where we chose to plant our flag in the future. Zakopone is actually visited by 2.5 million tourists a year. Now, not everyone spends the night here. It is a day trip from the big city of Krakow. It's right near the Slovakian border, and these Tatras Mountains are beautiful, and the skiing here is fairly legendary. In 2006, Zakopone made an unsuccessful bid to host the Winter Olympics. Just being able to make a bid for the Olympics says quite a bit about the quality of the skiing. Zakopone's tourists in the winter come here for activities such as skiing, snowboarding, ski jumping, snowmobiling, sleigh rides, 
snowshoe walks and ice skating and cross country skiing. So you can't get too bored here and there is nightlife. Now year round there are spas in the area and thermal baths. But if you're coming here during the off skiing season, the tourists come here to explore the Tatras Mountains. They'll do mountaineering, hiking, climbing, horse riding, and mountain biking. And they even do boat rides and they're swimming in some of the rivers and lakes in the region. So there's a year round plethora of activities, whether you're coming spring, summer, winter, or fall. The size of the pedestrian zone of Zakopone really exceeded my expectations. I did not know it would be so long and have so many different restaurants and options and different types of souvenir shops. But one thing that you couldn't help but notice were the cheese stands. They had these vendors out and they had a little frying cheese things and they were one right after another. We had to give it a go and I've had this type of cheese before. I loved it, but we haven't had it here in Zakopone. So I beg Julie. So we're gonna try the cheese here. It's a sheep cheese and it's got some jam on it right now. And so it's, you know, Julie's gonna give that a go. What do you think here, honey? Let me try, mm. put some in my mouth. Oh wow, that's delicious, sweet and salty. Mm. Mm. I don't like stirring. <laughs> I want, I'd rather have that by myself. Mm. As you continue down towards the base of the mountain, you're going to find the Ferris wheel, an amusement park type of area, as well as where you can catch the gondola or the ski lifts up to the top of the mountain, which we're gonna show you later on in the video. Getting a ride up the mountain is gonna cost about $5 and $4 if you're just gonna do it one way. All of the walking around here has worked up a bit of an appetite. That cheese didn't quite tide me over for the day, so let's stop at a restaurant. Wow, these dumplings or these uh, pierogi look fantastic. And Julie's got this beautiful salad with mozzarella toast. And of course I got my bear. Mm. This is a potato and cheese pierogi. And that's what it looks like inside. This is so good. It's got raisins and sauerkraut. That's delicious. Can't wait to try the cheese. It's my favorite. Is it a salad? Love it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is unbelievably good. It's got so many herbs. Warren's gonna go nuts over this. Warren dining with his little friend. So that was 92 Zlati. Um, 102 after tip, so basically $20 for us to have our meal here in the tourist area, and it was a good meal. 22 after tip. After our lunch, we decided we were going to go buy some of the local cheese so that we can take that home, throw it on the grill, and have some of our own cheese with jam. So that was 40 days lifespan if it's been smoked for if it wasn't. So we went with the one that wasn't smoked. So it was a shorter lifespan. Now let's get to that mountain tranquil area. There's a huge park here in Zacapone right next to the pedestrian zone. And you'll feel like you're pretty much separated from all of that noise once you're over there. And the mountain views are beautiful. And our girls loved this park. There is a lot of area for them to stretch their legs and roam around and roll around. So Katie and Arya both really enjoyed having the time to stretch their legs and run around in this park. Next, we're going to leave the town of Zacapone for a little while. And we're going to do a drive up into the mountains nearby and try to do a little hiking and see what the countryside looks like. 
Now, I will say, much to our chagrin, a lot of the hiking areas that are set up here in the Tatras on the national park areas are off limits to our dogs. So we didn't do some of the more popular hiking areas in the area because they just weren't dog friendly. Abby has delivered us to the forest of the Tatra Mountains. We're gonna go for a little stroll. We went and explored a couple dirt roads and we found one that looks like a old road that maybe a lumber company once used. As Julie and I travel, we do have international medical insurance on us. If you want more information on international medical insurance, please send me an email at warrenjulietravel at gmail.com and I'll send you the information. Also, the link for a quote is in the video description and I do get a commission if you use that. Thank you. I'm a lumberjack and that's okay, but, but I don't remember the words. I don't think it's a clean song anyway. I thought you made that up. Okay, so we hear a fresh babbling brook. We're going to go find it, and Julie's going to test the water and see if it's potable. <laughs> no, she's not. We will call this undiscovered river the Julie. I'm sure the people in Poland won't mind. It would be so lovely to have a house right over here. You could hear the babbling brook. I could just imagine a big log cabin. Okay, Julie looking for a place to put a house again. We're going to leave our peaceful tranquil area where we found the river julie and we're going to head over to the top of the mountain where the ski slopes are near the town of zacapone we're going to drive up and instead of doing the ski lift we couldn't tell for sure but to do the gondola with the dogs it looked like we had to have a muzzle which we didn't have and really it's not necessary for our dogs so we normally just don't have those with us So this is one of the ways up, it's a ski lift. There's also the gondola that's further down, but uh, there's a nice little town and area to get something to eat here and tourist things. So up at the top, there's a lot more activity than I thought there would be. I really just thought there was a restaurant with an overlook and maybe a little hiking. I wasn't imagining that there was this much up here. You have tree trekking, you have horseback riding. It, actually, you see more carnival atmosphere up here than I really would have ever imagined. There were still a lot of souvenir shops. There were places that you can go to little restaurants and there were multiple places that had overlooks to enjoy the view to down below. So it's worth coming up here whether you do the drive, but. Be forewarned, parking up here is limited, or if you come up by ski lift or gondola. We hope that you enjoyed today's visit to the town of Zakopane in Poland. And as a reminder, Julie and I, we're traveling the world with our two dogs. We're trying to see what it's like to live in other countries, other cities, other places, and we try to share our experiences and expenses with you. So we hope that you're going to subscribe, give this video a like, and follow along as we explore other cities and countries. So until next time, have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.